Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm Sarah from Who I Am Among the Pages. And if you're new here, thanks for stopping by. And if you're not, thanks for sticking around. I can't believe I almost forgot what to say. So, today is the day after Christmas. I hope everybody watching this had a very Merry Christmas, very Happy Holidays, or frankly, just a good day. Uh, you know, it's been a hard year. Any good day that we can get, we should take. Um, but we do, my family does celebrate Christmas. And as usual, as a, you know, bookworm, I was so lucky to get several books for Christmas um, from my parents and then from my lovely boyfriend who has made appearances on this channel. Um, and they're all very, books I am very, very excited about and I'm hoping to get to within the early months of 2021. And oh, does it feel good to say that? Um, but yeah, I don't want to take too long. I want to go ahead and get started. So the first book is the Fear Street Super Thriller Nightmares, and it contains two books. It is a bind up of The Dead Boyfriend and Give, Give Me a K-I-L-L. So if you're not familiar with R.L. Stein, he did write the Goosebumps books, which are made for a very young audience, typically elementary school age um, children. And these books came out, I think the books themselves might be older, but I believe these bind ups are fairly new. Um, but these are aimed more towards a YA audience. Um, oh, it came, these stories came out in 2016 and 2017 respectively. Um, so these are meant for a YA audience, a little bit older. Um, I read the first book in his bind ups. Um, Fear Street, uh, Super Thriller, Party Games, and Don't Stay Up Late, right there. Um, and I didn't talk about it, it was kind of during my like hiatus from YouTube. Um, but I am really excited for this one. And the first one, The Dead Boyfriend, follows Caitlin, who has never had a real relationship before, so when she sees her boyfriend, Blade, with another girl, she completely loses it. As she regains her senses, she realizes that Blade is dead, and she has killed him. But if Blade is dead, how is he staring at her across a crowded party? And does that not sound great? I love, as much as I do have a problem now with Stephen King after Insomnia, because I just hated that so much, I do still love a good horror. And especially that sounds like that's going to be a ghost story. And classic creepy ghost stories and haunted houses are like right up my alley. So the second one, give me a K-I-L-L. -L. Uh, there is... Only one slot on the cheerleading squad at Shady Side. Shady Side is the ho uh, the hospital, the high school that they go to, and Gretchen Page must compete against the only girl who stands in her way, rich, spoiled Deborah Dalby. Stop right there because I am worried there's gonna be a lot of girl on girl hate, and I think that's just been called for in a lot of these books. Um, the competition to join the squad is anything but friendly and ends in murder. Mm, that just sounds so good, like. I love character dynamics where I love a, a man versus man or woman versus woman um, issue in stories because I feel like they just they're so juicy and they're just so there's just so much going on and I love it um, I love 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 it um, so yeah super super excited about this one and moving on from that very similarly though I have Fear Street Super Thriller Secrets, The Lost Girl, and Can You Keep a Secret? So this one, of course, also by L.R.L. Stein, is I believe the third one in this series of bind-ups because I think um, uh, Super Thriller, oh crap, what was this one called? Oh, that's horrible. Nightmares and Secrets. I believe that these all, there are only three, three bind-ups, and I think this is the last one out of the three. Um, so yeah, this one it has, contains The Lost Girl and Can You Keep a Secret? So in The Lost Girl, new student Izzy Walker is the talk of Shady Side High. Michael finds himself drawn to her, but the closer he gets, the stranger she seems. I really enjoy that that was a super short synopsis. Um, it leaves a lot to the imagination and knowing, having already read a couple stories that take place in the Shady Side world, uh, that R.L. Stein has created. There's so many ways a person can be strange. Like there's just really no limits in R.L. Stein's mind. So I'm really excited 
to see what about her is strange. Like what makes her weird? Like what's the creep? What's the creep factor in this? So in the second book in this bind up, in Can You Keep a Secret, Eddie and Emmy leave out on a camping trip with four friends in the Fear Street woods. Mistake. Like they talk about these woods in uh, party games, I believe it was. And you cannot pay me enough to go into these woods. Um, when they discover something that could change their lives, should they tell their friends or face the consequences of their lie? Guys, this sounds so good. That sounds like pretty much like classic, like Halloween, Michael Myers. Love it. I just, I have said it before and I will say it again. My favorite type of horror is retellings and renditions of classic horror, American horror icons. Like that is my standby. I love it. Um, so it sounds like those books will really be right up my alley. So the next book I have is The Wicked King by Holly Black. Um, this is the sequel to Cruel Prince by Holly Black um, and it's the second book in the uh, Folk of the Air series by Holly Black. There's three books and I don't, I know the uh, fourth one just came out. Um, I can't remember what it's called though and I don't think it necessarily like is the next book in the series as much as it's like a companion um, to the series. So this picks up after, you know, Jude and uh, Jude has bound the Wicked King, Cardin to her and made herself a power behind the throne. Um, so I'm really looking forward to seeing in this book how Jude uses that newfound power and because she is a very dynamic and very strong character, um, how we see her adapt to the changes and just generally like how she handles being suddenly this beacon of power in a world where she not hadn't been enslaved but she's definitely always been trodden on and she'd been kind of the bottom of the totem pole um she was human in the fairy world and really they could do anything they wanted to her and she was only alive by their good graces so i think that's gonna be a very interesting way to see kind of an underdog character like take the reins and really run with it so the next book i have is wicked saints by emily a duncan and i can't believe it but i tore I don't know if you can see that. I did tear a little bit of the paper off the cover. I'm wrapping it and I'm so sad. But I love this cover. I love foiling and you don't see it very much on paperbacks, especially decoratively like that. I really, really appreciate it. So this sounds like it is going to be a story of three perspectives coming together, three characters coming together um, over a common goal. So together they must assassinate the king and stop the war. Um, so this sounds like it's going to be a really fascinating fantasy set in a, like, very distinct world. Um, in a centuries-long war where beauty and brutality meet, there are three paths entwined in a shadowy world of spilled blood and mysterious saints, where a forbidden romance threatens to tip the scales between dark and light. And I know this is supposed to be gothic fiction, and um, that's a genre that I really, really enjoy. Um, if you're not familiar with gothic fiction, the best examples I can give to you are like Edgar Allan Poe. That's very famous. Um, of course, The Telltale Heart, uh, but also uh, Follow the House of Usher. That's a short story by Poe that I really recommend and is a great example of gothic fiction. So is Wuthering Heights by that's Emily Bronte, I believe. I feel, I feel, I'm going to feel like an idiot if it was by Charlotte, but I cannot keep the two straight. Um, because I know their sister then, Anne, writ, wrote, like, nice stories about, like, female characters with common sense. But Emily and Charlotte were a little problematic. Um, but yeah, gothic fiction tends to focus around houses and the evils of people. And it's dark and it's dreary, but not always. Uh, but generally. And a lot of times in gothic fiction, um, I've noticed that the setting it tends to act as, like, its own character. And has, like, these profound influences on the story. Um... And really, I don't think I've read much gothic fiction outside of classics um, that I've read for school. So I am looking forward to, ooh, I just love that, um, to seeing how uh, gothic fiction kind of reintroduces itself into modern fiction. And on a side note, I just love the spine on this book. It's gorgeous. So the last book then is Ruthless Gods by Emily A. Duncan and I don't know much about this book. It is the sequel to Wicked Saints and this is a big beautiful hardcover and it does have decent size print so it shouldn't be too bad. Um, and the end pages are really pretty in this. Um, 
but I don't know a whole lot about this. Um, I did see in the inside of the dust jacket that the group is torn apart. Um, so I was, my prediction seems to have been right. <sighs> I hate when I do that. I hate when I spoil something by accident. Um, that's why I don't like dust jackets. Like if you're buying a sequel, um, that you like don't want to know, like you haven't quite finished the book, that's such an easy way to spoil yourself. Whereas if it's just like a paperback, you pick it up, you look at the cover, cool. You can flip through the pages, whatever. And, and you don't ruin it, typically. You have to flip it over and make a conscious effort to find the story. <laughs> Little things. First world problems, am I right? So that pretty much takes care of this book haul. I hope it was short and sweet and exciting. And I'm really, really, ah, really looking forward to reading these books. Um, I am hoping from here on out to be able to film a book rant on most everything I read. So yeah, hopefully I will be talking about these again before too long. Uh, down below will be linked my Goodreads if you want to keep up with what I'm reading and my Wattpad in case you want to keep up with what I'm writing. Thank you guys so much for watching another video and I hope you have a good day.